People in Cleveland say that they could use some clarity about the new face mask policy. Wearing a mask became mandatory in public areas in Cleveland on Friday. Some people say the order left them with more questions, including what's the penalty for not wearing one, while some residents don't see an issue with wearing a mask. Some of our really hot spot uh, destinations, you know, it's elbow to elbow in some of these bars. We really need to figure out how do we get a better handle on this. When this all first started, I was a number one skeptic. Things have evolved. So now I just, if I go into a building, I put it on. Um, a grocery store, any kind of store, any kind of space, I just put it on. It's really simple. The city council is set to vote on consequences for not wearing a mask on July 15th. Former head of the state's health department, Dr. Amy Acton, was honored with the Citizen of the Year Award from Bexley Saturday night. Acton stepped down as the director of the Ohio Department of Health on June 11th. However, she continues to work for the governor as his senior health advisor. Acton was appointed ODH director by DeWine in February of 2019. Bexley Mayor Ben Kessler presented the proclamation to Acton. Three of her children also spoke at the event.